Yo, what's up, Blackish fam? It's your boy B. I hope all is well in your corner of the world. Man, I've been really imp impressed uh, with this cat, Marlon Kraft. I didn't even know about him a few days ago. Uh, somebody put me on the State of the Union. Uh, I, I don't know if it's a freestyle, but the State of the Union song, State of the Union 2. Now, we did reaction videos, and man, the brother is deep. Uh, is, is a white boy, but man, he is extremely woke. He knows what he's talking about. He knows his history. Um, and he's also talking about positive change, which is one thing we like to focus on on this channel. So, yo, I want to check out this cat's freestyles. And I noticed uh, he went up to Sway in the morning, right? Sway's been in the game for so long, just so respected in the hip hop industry. And he's got the five fingers of death where they put on uh, five different beats. Uh, and you got to bring your A game, right? Because they really want to see who's got the bars. Um, really excited to see what Marlon Kraft will do. So, yo, without further ado, we're going to break down uh, Marlon Kraft's freestyle, Five Fingers of Death. Let's get it. Like DJ Wonder, he even know I'm going to put him to Five Fingers at the beat. Yes, sir. We're going to let that first beat drop, Marlon Kraft. Sway. I think it's so funny that he just looks, it's, he's so unassuming, right? Uh, he looks like a suburban kid, right? He looks like my son. My son is 13 years old. God would pass for one of this dude's boys. <laughs> Good morning, Shade 45, DP, DP. Feeling the beat? Turn that up. Ooh. Ooh, all right. Okay. Look. Look. Come on now. Yeah. Homie, you can save your pound like a British investor. Cool table Ooh. ass rappers. I ain't come here to network student in this game, but. Bro, he just came right out with a bar. He said, homie, you can save the pound, right? Like you give someone a pound, like you're like, yo, what up, fam? Yo, what up, bro? Right? He said, yo, save the pound like a British investor, right? You think of uh, what's the British uh, or the UK currency, right? Uh, it's the pound sterling. Uh, so he said, we're talking about save the pound. Uh, but he said, like a British investor, right? The play on words. You have to, he's testing your trivia, right? He's testing your knowledge here. Since the man won mixtapes, knew I become a professor. Long as the lungs in my Ooh, run it back. Look, can't let that slip yeah. that easily. Homie, you can save your pound like a British investor. Cool table ass rappers, I ain't come here to network student in this game. But since the man won mixtapes, knew I become a professor. Long Ooh. as the lungs in my the professor who knows a white boy with the crazy, he still does a lot of YouTube. Um, but he's the one who got a cra crazy handles, right? Uh, basketball. He was part of the end one mixtape. Uh, but you hear what Marlon's saying. He said, uh, since those mixtapes, right? It's, it's a, just a play on words with that. But uh, shout out to the professor, right? My chest work. I do this to breathe. So don't that work student in this game. But since the man won mixtapes, knew I become a professor. Long as the lungs in my chest work, I do this to breathe. So don't ever ask me how come. Shit, their vision was clouded. They used to doubt, son. They only care about income. I'm worried about the outcome. My flow would make J Electronic and drop the album. Shit. Ooh, that's been a, a long uh, joke, right, in hip-hop, is that J Electronica album. Uh, and he said, yo, my flow is my flow is so sick. Uh, I make, make people do unthinkable things, right? Uh, but I love the wordplay. If I can remember what he said, uh, he said, I do this to breathe. So don't ever ask me how come, right? People ask, Hey, yo, how come you did this? Or why'd you drop this type of mixtape? And I think it's important that, that he's saying that. He's like, yo, uh, I, I do this. It's, it comes natural to me, right? It's as natural as breathing is what he's saying. Uh, so, yo, let's get let's get right back to it. Why y'all big about energy? I'm trying to figure out how to get this. In my bad. I just... Shit, that vision was clouded. They used to doubt, son. They only care about income. I'm worried about the outcome. My flow would make J Electronic and drop the album. Shit. Why y'all big about energy? I'm trying to figure out how to get this truth to the people and not end up like a Kennedy. I end up like Lenny shit. And he was... Yo, listen to what he's saying, right? His whole... Everything that I've heard so far from this cat, he's he's about spitting facts, right? He is... He has a... a there's definitely a political nature uh, or political perspective, uh, but he's spitting facts, right? He's telling you about the world around you, and it might be the world that you don't understand. It's the political side. Uh, right, how uh, a lot of these decisions affect us. And you hear a lot of people in hip hop, they're like, ah, I don't get down with politics, bro. That's garbage. Uh, it doesn't matter who I vote for, right? They're just, uh, they, they already know who won. No, bro. <coughs> these decisions uh, affect how you move in the world. 
right? Uh, a lot of people hated Donald Trump. And it's like, yo, Donald Trump is just a, he's a temporary employee uh, for the country, right? Uh, Donald Trump has four years, uh, at most eight years, right? Two terms. Uh, the problems are the people that you put in place, right? The judges that have lifelong tenure. That means they can't get fired. So you're putting people with the same ideologies as you in positions of power. That's where the that's where it, it hurts our our government, right? Um, but yo, I, I love this brother spitting uh, straight knowledge, bro. Straight facts too, and I, I just love his delivery, bro. It would be one thing if people were like, yo, he spits well for a, a conscious rapper, or he spits well for a politically infused rapper. But nah, this dude got bars regardless of what he's talking about, right? This is a talented young dude, man. Run it back. <laughs> Homie, you can save your pound like a British investor. Cool table ass rappers, I ain't come here to network student of this game. But since the man won mixtapes, knew I become a professor. Long as the lungs in my chest work, I do this to breathe, so don't ever ask me how come. Shit, their vision was clouded, they used to doubt, son. They only care about income. I'm worried about the outcome. My flow would make Jay Electronic and drop the album. I, I love what he's saying, too, right? I'm not doing this for the income. Right? The people that truly love hip hop. Think about Black Thought, right? Think about Toby and Wigway, uh, Wigway. Think about Common. Think of all these people are like, yo, bro, I'm not, I'm not doing this for the dollars, right? I'm, I'm doing this to get the message out. I have something to say that's building up inside of me, and I know if I, if I do what's right and what's natural to me, the money will come, right? Now look at this cat's got seven, uh, almost eight hundred thousand views on this uh, freestyle. Um, but look, a lot of people know his work now, right? A lot of people know his craft. And now that he's coming out up with it, uh, I, I saw something that there's new uh, material coming out next week. If you're a fan of Marlon Crap, don't forget to subscribe because we're going to break down every new thing that this cat does. That's how intelligent, that's how incredible this flow is right here. Shit, why y'all big about energy? I'm trying to figure out how to get this truth to the people that not end up like a Kennedy. I end up like Lennon oh. shit, and he was trying to let it be. That shit fuck with me mentally. John Lennon, right, from the Beatles. He had the famous song, let it be, let it be, right? John Lennon was someone that was way ahead of his time, and he was speaking about equality in the world. And what happened, right? Somebody goes up to him, boom, blast, right? Same thing that happened to Kennedy, right? He said, I'm trying to get the truth out to the people and not end up like John F. Kennedy. A lot of people say that, yo, John F. Kennedy, uh, he had a vision for the world. Uh, and it, I, I don't think it's uh, it's a coincidence, right? It's not a coinkydink uh, that, some, that somebody blew his brains out. Uh, there's actually a lot of conspiracy theories that tie the actual government uh, to his death. Uh, but that's a, that's a whole other video. <laughs> yeah, how to get this truth to the people and not end up like Kennedy or end up like Lennon shit and he was trying to let it be that shit fuck with me mentally but it's over yo I made the decision of what I say and I've written can spark a change for a different part of the phase of the script that they y'all I was so busy listening to the beat I didn't even get to the bars <laughs> To the people that not end up like Kennedy or end up like Lennon shit and he was trying to let it be that shit fuck with me mentally But it's over yo I made the decision of what I say and I've written can spark a change for a different part of the phase of the script that they y'all pay us to live and made us Reaction and I uh, just spilled my coffee just everywhere all on my desk is all over my stuff I've already ruined one Mac keyboard. It's like oh, why do these things continue to happen to me and just me? For a different part of the phase of the script that they y'all pay us to live that. I'm worried about that. It's already a 10 minute video. We're like a minute into the song. Man, but this cat, somebody this lyrical, it's unpacking, right? It's like getting a zip file. It's like when you unpack the, the file, there's so much meaning in the bars. And you know, to me, that just shows that he's a quality rapper. If we can have 20 minutes of conversation uh, based on 10 minutes of, of freestyle, like you did your job, bro. You, you got so much to say that's intelligent that we have to unpack it and break it down. This game, but since the man won mixtapes, knew I'd become a professor long as the lungs in my chest work. I do this to breathe, so don't ever ask me how come. Shit, their vision was clouded. They used to doubt, son. They only care about income. I'm worried about the outcome. My flow would make Jay Electronic and drop the album. Shit. Why y'all pick about energy? I'm trying to figure out how to get this truth to the people that not end up like Kennedy or end up like Lennon shit. And he was trying to let it be that shit fuck with me mentally. 
But it's over, yo, I made the decision of what I say and I've written Can spark a change for a different part of the phase of the script That they y'all pay us to live and made us unstable and sick And they made us pay for prescriptions addicted to our gadget Bro, that, that's just too much truth to just let that ride, right? He said, I've, I, what I've written can spark change, right? Uh, and it's something about a different part of the phase uh, But he said, yo, they all, um, he said they make us all unstable and sick and then they make us for pay for pre prescriptions, uh, and we're addicted to our gadgets. Yo, that's that that's sick, man. That that's incredibly true. Um, that's also incredibly sad, right? That that's the world that we live in. Now that we can recognize these problems, but we can't do much about them. What does John Mayer say? Waiting on the world to change. We keep on waiting. Waiting, waiting on the world to change. Decision of what I say and I've written can spark a change for a different part of the phase of the script that they y'all pay us to live and made us unstable and sick and they made us pay for prescriptions. Addicted to our gadgets, whole world become an arcade. Corporation played us, convinced us it was our game. Act like they gon' put follow accounts on all of our graves and fuck the world away from waiting. Bro, that's so sick. He said, listen, he said the whole world has become an ar arcade, right? You can envision that, yo, people are playing with our lives, right? Uh, he said, yo, they convinced you that it was your game, that you have the illusion of free will, but really they tell you what to do, right? You're being influenced uh, by what to do way before influencers. Uh, but I love the play on words because he said uh, people act like there's going to be a follower count on your grave. He's like, yo, what, what, when did, how many followers you have become something, right? There's actually people in the world that love you and care for you. And the funny thing is you're probably avoiding them to boost subscribers and, and, and target social media. And he's like, yo, what are we doing, right? Yes. Addicted to our gadgets, whole world become an arcade. Corporation played us, convinced us it was our game. Act like they gon' put follow accounts on all of our graves. And fuck the world and wipe away your sins on your off day. Yo. Let us all pray. Honestly, I'd rather not. I don't know how to save the world, but I had some thoughts. I ain't come to <laughs> he said, yo, let us pray. And he said, ah, honestly, I'd rather not, right? Yo, it's it's a that's a a sign of the times, right? If you talk to uh, a young millennial or somebody that's Gen Z, um, they question, openly question religion, and they kind of see it as uh, a big scam, right? And they see it as a, uh, these guys, these dudes driving Cadillacs and uh, these stretch trucks, and you can tell who the pastor is regardless of the church you go to in the world. They're the ones with the high-end suit, right? They're the ones with the nice whip. When everyone else is driving Chevys, you can look around and you can see, oh, that's the pastor's truck, that's the deacon's truck, right? Um, it's become something where there, it's become a shelter where you can hide money. Now, you can get cash tax-free money, right? There's so many things that you can do by starting a church. Um, and it's, uh, come on, let's be honest, most of the wars, most of the problems that in the world are around religion. And I'm not saying I hate religion. I'm just saying that we need to really, you know, I actually thought about uh, putting together a common sense independent that every Sunday we meet and we explore religion and we discuss it together. Uh, because, yo, I think we all got it wrong. And to say you can't do this or you're just going to burn in hell eternally is like such an old school method. Like, okay, uh, while you do that and worry about that, I'm sure you're worried uh, about the sun chariot being pulled across the sky and uh, you want to dance to the rain gods too. It's like, come on now. Most of the things, that's how we lived our life back in the day, right? Uh, for things that we couldn't ex uh, ex explain through science, that uh, we created myth. And all of those things have been proved different, right? Uh, we, we, we know it's not a god that carries the sun chariot across the sky. Now, uh, we know that uh, the, 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 the world is moving, right? Now, we know that the earth is this because of this. Uh, so why is it that we still have these old school, uh, this old school mentality about following this, this book? From so We use this book to hate and spread hate. And it's like, yo, is this, is this truly uh, what the world is around us? Like, think about that, man. It, it's so deep, right? Somebody who I love when you hear bars like this because it says that, yo, I'm not here trying to fit in. I'm not going to be here telling you I'm a Christian and trying to fit in this box 
Um, no, I'm, I'm telling you that I openly is like, yo, let us pray. Nah, honestly, I'd rather not, right? I don't know what good will come of it. And again, if you practice religion, yo, more power to you. But uh, I think we need to take another look at re religion and make it more inclusive. Um, that's just me, though, right? I'm just out here zipping my tea. I did not. I don't know how to save the world, but I have some thoughts. Mm -hmm. I ain't come to preach. Rappers be too numb to speak. Takes the mic down. Never reach. Word to King James. Wish we could see our reflections and all our big chains. Word to King James, right? He said, uh, what did he say? They'll never reach. Uh, is that? I don't think that's a King James or LeBron James reference. Is he referencing King James and also bringing it back to the Bible? And bringing about bringing it back to preaching, uh, and I love what he says about rappers be too numb to speak, right? Uh, too numb why? Because they're popping too many drugs. Uh, you know what? 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 What is that? I, I wish it, uh, he would elaborate on that because uh, it's such a good point, and I think he could have went somewhere with it. But yo, it's a freestyle, man, and uh, this kid doing this as a freestyle, like yo, I'm actually looking forward to getting into his catalog. Like if he's this sick. Without looking at anything, imagine his written word. But arcade corporation played us, convinced us it was our game. Act like they gon' put follow accounts on all of our graves. Just fuck the world and wipe away your sins on your off day. Let us all pray. Honestly, I'd rather not. I don't know how to save the world, but I have some thoughts. But I ain't come to preach. Rappers be too numb to speak. Takes the mic but they'll never reach. Word to King James. Wish we could see our reflections and all our big chains. Whole life with myself just now getting to know me. Real G's don't always look the part. Word to the word baloney. Y'all party with the phony, so don't you? Yo, what up? Yo, that, the wordplay there is sick, right? Uh, the part that stood out the most just now, he said, yo, real Gs don't always look the part. You know, look at him, right? This cat's looking like he's in the, the, the IB program, right? The math is science program. Looks like he's applying for an internship at Sway in the morning, right? But not, nah, his brother got bars. But listen to what he's saying. Real Gs don't always look the part. He said word to the word baloney, right? Uh, the word baloney uh, you don't you don't hear that G right G's move in silence. Uh, you might be familiar with uh, Lil Wayne right Lil Wayne's reference. He said real G's move in silence like lasagna, and a lot of people were like, huh? It's like yo, because you don't hear the G right. It's a silent G. Uh, and I always tell the teenagers here where they're all as like yo, the loudest person in the room is normally the most insecure, and that's true right. When you go to a high school and it's like the class clown. They're normally trying to take attention from from some defect, right? Uh, they, they don't like reading, or they didn't do the work, so they're joking. They're trying to draw attention away from something else, right? They're insecure. The person that's the most deadliest is the person that sit, sits back, right? They're quiet, but when they speak, people listen because they understand that uh, this is an intelligent cat, right? Uh, when you go into a room, I normally just watch. You have to peep the scene, right? You have to size people up. What's their position? What are they saying? Who has something intelligent to say? And then when it's your time, when you have something to bring to the table, people will sit back and look because they know that you're not just running your mouth, right? You think about the words. Use your words. And I always tell people, yo, uh, if you're going to argue with me, don't raise your voice and prove your argument because I have something intelligent to say. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that, right? It's, don't be afraid to be intelligent, y'all. Let us all pray. Honestly, I'd rather not. I don't know how to save the world, but I have some thoughts. Mm -hmm. I ain't come to preach. Rappers be too numb to speak. Takes the mic, but they'll never reach. Word to King James. Wish we could see our reflections and all our big chains. Ooh. Whole life with myself just now getting to Bro, know. Real Jesus. I got, I got a hit on that one. Listen to what he said. I wish we could see our reflections and all our big chains, right? Everyone, before they buy a house, before they buy their mom a house, before they get their family out the hood, people are buying the bling bling, right? Now, yo, this cost me 25 grand. What does Kanye West said? Uh, I, yeah, I went to, uh, I went to uh, the jeweler before I had a house, and now I do it again. I want to be on 106 Park pushing the bands, right? People have these issues. Uh, and he's like, yo, I wish you could see your reflection in that big-ass chain because you look silly, bro. Thinking there's still people in the world that are oppressed. Your people are, might be still in the hood getting shot. Your mama still lives in the hood. Where does your grandmama stay, right? Where are all these people? What are you doing for the community? Come on. If we're going to support rappers, and I think if we're going to support hip-hop, uh, they need to be giving back to us. We're making these people multi-millionaires. 
sometimes billionaires. And what do they do, right? They're buying all these fancy cars. They're showing you all these chicks. They're rubbing it in your face. I look at my money and I'm like, yeah, I know. We gave you that money by supporting your music. I'd rather support someone like Marlon Kraft or Toby Wigway or Ciroc or Black Thought because I know that they're, uh, they're, they're trying to make change, right? They're trying to sh share knowledge. They're not just trying to get bling bling and sit here with a savage shirt and some mics and a Gucci belt. Like, yo, uh, that, that is not wealth, right? Wealth is waking up and being able to do what you want that day. Right, the the old flex. That's money and big cars and <clears throat> big stupid house. Like, ah, uh, that's not that cool anymore. To me, it looks like you're in a lot of debt. It looks like you got to escalate and you got a, a fifteen hundred dollar payment and you got a two thousand dollar apartment. It's like uh, you know those things don't mean much and they'll eventually be taken from you. Uh, that's that's old school, man. The the biggest flex is time. Right, it's not money. Uh, money is what I need so I can get my time back. Uh, the, the, to be able to wake up and do as I want and spend time with my kids and travel the world, that's the ultimate flex. Come on now, if, you, if you're with the rims and stuff, uh, yo, yeah, I, I get it, you're over there doing your thing, but uh, remember, you're not doing much, man. You ride in a wave, it's inevitably going to crash. Don't always look the part, word to the word baloney. Y'all don't parlay with the phony, so don't you, yo, what a bromie. Shit. <laughs> don't what up, bro. got me spoken. And because I look like me. Like he said in, right in the beginning, you could save the pound, right? Save the pound. But just like he's saying, yo, you could save the, yo, what's up, bro? Uh, nah, we, we don't need to speak, bro. We're not on the same level. And I know, right? How do I know? Because look at you, bro. Myself just now getting to know me. Real G's don't always look the part. Word to the word baloney. Y'all parlay with the phony, so don't you, yo, what a bromie. Shit. Cause there's a lot that got me spoken. And cause I look like me, the white kids copy quoted. Ooh. So I feel more bars, but I sign the Hossie Coke. I'm glad he addressed it because a lot of people in hip hop um, will, will put you in a box if you're a white boy, right? Now we've seen it with Macklemore. They tried to do it with Eminem until Eminem just destroyed the box, right? <clears throat> It's like, yo, we got to stop that. Uh, we got to stop. <clears throat> Hip hop is something that's inclusive. Yes, it, it started in the streets, in the grit, uh, the, the, the streets of New York, right? The Bronx. Uh, think about 1977, uh, the big blackout in the Bronx, and then everybody went and stole turntables and were rioting and looting, and then all these DJs popped up and break dancers popped up. And think about the evolution of hip hop. And if you don't know a lot about hip hop, I actually have a video where I, I've actually studied hip hop at, at a, a university level. Uh, and I have a video just kind of explaining a little bit more about what happened, how did hip hop started, um, where do we get the five elements of hip hop, right? Who are people like Africa Bambada, um, uh, Sugar Hill Gang, uh, Slick Rick? What did these people do to hip hop? Who's your favorite rapper's favorite rapper, right? Who's Rakim? Uh, you know, who are uh, who was Wu-Tang and Method Man, Red Man, who are some of those greats? Uh, because, you know, a lot of people say, yo, yo, Marlon Kraft is top three, top five. And it's like, well, top three or top five for what, right? Uh, t for for uh, Zumba music? Uh, top five for music you want to vibe out to when you're on your way to the club? Music you want to hear, uh, you want to hear something intellectual? Because I got to tell you, I, I love bobbing my head. But I don't, I, sometimes I, I need depth, right? I need substance. I need something like this where someone's going to feed me information and then I want to decipher that information. And you're actually learning when you listen to a cat like this, right? So there's different ways that people interpret hip hop. And just because he's white doesn't mean that he's any less than. Because, uh, yo, know, I would argue that I don't think there's a lot of people that can go bar for bar for him at this level. Right? There, there's definitely a handful, and we go over a lot of those people on this channel. So if you're a fan, don't forget to subscribe. But, uh, yo, let's not say that, yo, he's sick for a white boy. No, he's sick in general, right? Come on now. Oh, it is some shit that I'll be spoken. Truth glaze, if you will. Myself just now getting to know me. Real G's don't always look the part. Word to the word baloney. Y'all parlay with the phony, so don't you, yo, what a bromie. Shit. Cause there's a lot that got me spoken And cause I look like me, the white kids copy quoted So I feed them raw bars, but I sign the high seat coded Ooh, It's some shit that don't Cause they're white boys, right? Uh, think about that, in the hood uh, We got things like the crack epidemic, right? 
Um, you got people uh, uh, that are shooting up, right? Heroin, of course, they're smoking weed, uh, popping mollies, right, or whatever. But he, yeah, he's playing off the rhyme for the white kids. He said, yo, I feed them raw bars, but I try to oxycod it, right? You think of oxycodone. A lot of people think of the more prescription drugs as drugs that are more in middle America, uh, young white kids, young white families that are being affected by uh, prescription drugs. Sick. Because there's a lot that got me spoken. And because I look like me, the white kids copy quoted. So I feed them raw bars, but I try to icy code it in some shit that all be spoken. Truth glaze, if you will. Like why we loving the culture, but not the bodies, though. Ooh. We co signed the oppression, purchase the trauma, yo. yo Same country, yo. Yeah, bro, that's, that's way too deep. He said, yo, we, why, we loving the culture, but not the bodies. Bro, that, that's so sick, right? Because you think of how many people uh, love hip hop, but then still when they drive through the city, they're lock, lock, oh, nope, I don't want my daughter dating a black dude, right? And they say things like this, and it's like, oh, I see. You like to pick and choose parts of the culture that uh, fit you, but you're quick to talk smack about what other people are doing. Okay, just so I understand. Uh, but yo, I love when he said, yo, we co-sign the oppression. I think a cosine is uh, easy to interpret, but it's normally when you don't have credit, when you don't have the ability to get something on your own, like let's say finance a vehicle, they'll say you can get a cosigner. That means that you need somebody that has the things that you're lacking and you put them on to guarantee whatever it is that you're purchasing or financing. Uh, but you can use cosine different. Like a lot of times I'll be sitting there smoking and I'm looking at my guy like, bro, why are your pants so tight, bro? Like, yo, bro, I can see all the change you got in your pocket, motherfucker. What's that, extra medium? You too big for that shit, bro. Like, bro, how do you get a big and tall skinny jean, right? And everybody's cracking up and we're all talking smack. And then somebody else comes in and they're like, what are those, uh, what, what are those, uh, those Aunt Levi's? What are those, Bugle Boy? And everybody turns to him and they're like, ah, bro, he didn't need a cosign, bro. You need to, you know... Oh, you want to be part of this? Look at you, bro. Look at your shoes, bro. Right? That's a good way of getting involved. Now, that's called a cosign. And that's what he's, he's saying, right? He's like, yo, we cosign the oppression. People are oppressed. People are in the hood. It's not as beautiful as it seems. These people are struggling, right? There's a poverty cycle, right? People are don't have access to uh, vegetables and fruit. And uh, look at what COVID did. It showed you that things are not... Uh, are disproportionately affecting minority Americans, right? He said, yo, quit, quit co-signing the oppression. Now, quit perpetuating that cycle of violence, of poverty, of whatever it might be. And he said, yo, we purchased the trauma, right? Like, yo, that's just deep on another level. Raise the roof, raise the roof. Should we murder you? Bring that back. Because there's a lot that got me spoken. And because I look like me, the white kids copy quoted. So I feed them raw bars, but I sign a hasi coded in some shit that all be spoken. Truth glaze, if you will. Like why we loving the culture, but not the bodies, though. We co sign the oppression, purchase the trauma, yo. Same country yelling, raise the roof, raise Dylan Roof. Should we murder King and gave that kid Burger King? So I <laughs> Yo, do you guys know who Dylan Roof is? Uh, this cat was born in the, the early 90s. Uh, he's technically a, a white supremacist, right? Let's not try to sugarcoat it. Like they say, he was a good boy. I don't know what the, no, this kid, this kid is batshit crazy. He was a white supremacist. He was a neo-Nazi and he it was a mass murderer, right? This cat has now been convicted of what's uh, normally known online as the Char Charleston church shootings uh, that were in 2015 in South Carolina. Now, they were actually doing a, a Bible study. I don't remember the, the name of the church, but it was like uh, Emmanuel, African, Methodist, Episcopal, right? It was like a, one of those very long names. Um, and they were having a Bible study. You know, this cat came in and he killed nine people during the Bible study. I mean, he, he killed the senior pastor. Um, you know, uh, there I think a senator was there. Um, and then after... Uh, Basically, there was a manhunt, and then the next day, uh, he was arrested in North Carolina. He committed to this. Uh, he admitted to the shooting, uh, and then it says he was trying to to start a race war. Uh, it, this kid was like batshit crazy. He he was convict. He was convicted, and I believe it, it was a federal crime. I'm not sure if it was considered a hate crime, uh, but it, it should have been. Um, so I, I believe he was sentenced to death.
Um, and, uh, you know, that's questionable who gets to go to the, gets the death penalty or not. But uh, I would argue that he definitely deserves it, right? So, yo, just incredible reference. Anybody that can reference names like that, kind of like Black Thought or somebody of that uh, of that caliber rhyming and can do it off the top of the dome, that means he knows his history, right? He's reciting facts. Um, and it just that the point that he's able to reference that and get a talking point and bring that back to somebody who might not look at the person watching this video might not know who Dylan Roof is. And now you forever know this white supremacist, this neo-Nazi, this mass murderer. You can now identify that in that point in history and reference that he's technically taught us something. And anybody that can do that lyrically, especially on a freestyle. I'm a fan, bro. There's some shit that all be spoken, truth glaze, if you will. Like why we loving the culture, but not the bodies, though. We co-signed the oppression, purchased the trauma, yo. Same country yelling, raise the roof, raise Dylan Roof. Shit, we murdered King and gave that kid Burger King. So I ain't come here to blow yo. up quick. Oh, I didn't even hear that. Now he said, yo, we murdered King, right? Think about Martin Luther King. Uh, right? There's a lot of conspiracy theories that have been uh, against black leaders, right? Civil rights leaders or people that are talking about positive change. And you have to ask yourself, why is that, right? Uh, even someone is like Tupac, uh, right? He's killed. It's unsolved crime. Uh, yeah, of course, we could easily blame it on East Coast, West Coast rivalry. Um, but Tupac was not just a rapper. And anybody who thinks he was was just listening at the surface level. Uh, his parent, well, his mom uh, was involved with the Black Panther Party, uh, right? His godmom was involved. This was somebody that was extremely woke, and, and he was really a poet, uh, but he was poetic, and his words could translate from uh, just a re regular conversation to rap to actual poems, right? Um, this was a talented brother, but you think about someone like Malcolm X, and if you do your history on Malcolm X, we actually have a video breaking down one of his best speeches uh, ballad or the bullet, um, he was killed. There's a lot of information that the CIA and the United States government actually had a hand or turned a blind eye, if you would, uh, to him getting killed. Um, so why is it that we murder people that, that we don't want more rights, right? We want equal rights. What is it that people are so afraid of? Like if we have equal rights, we're just going to take over the world? Um, but yo, he said, yo, we murdered King, but we gave that kid Burger King. Right? Look at the way that they arrest white people. Oh, get the man, get, get the man uh, some Burger King. Get him a pop. Let's see if he confesses. Now, when you're black, it's boop, bop, bop, boop, boop. A lawyer, you want to bop, 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 right? It just doesn't work out too well for us. You get someone like Kyle Rittenhouse. This cat shot two people and blew the muscle off a third person. And he is carrying a, a weapon right across his chest. And he's walking up to police while people are screaming behind him that he just killed some people and they walk right by him, right? Earlier in the night, they gave this cat a bottled water and said, yo, we appreciate you, bro. <laughs> this cat was actually able to go back home to Illinois, talk to his mom, and then turn himself in the next morning. Uh, that would not happen. One would argue if that kid was black, uh, one, he probably wouldn't have been able to use the self-defense uh, 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 the self-defense defense that Kyle Rittenhouse used. Uh, but also, uh, one would argue that he might not have even made it home. Uh, so, yo, uh, that's just you know, great wordplay, and I think it's great to reference that and just uh, show that this is the state of our world, and these are the small things. When we talk about racism and discrimination, a lot of people think that it's going to be like, nigga, give me a sandwich, right? No, it's, it's not like that. A lot of times it's subtle, it's little things, it's the things that aren't, uh, they're disproportionately affecting our communities for people of color. And that's one of the things that the way that the police treat and arrest white people uh, with officers hanging on the side of the car and the dude that they're trying to arrest at a traffic stop has a weapon on him and that guy still somehow makes it home or gets bond, <laughs> right? And, uh, and, the, and the other, uh, on the other hand, uh, they were like, oh, no, we had to shoot that kid. Uh, he had a, uh, uh, you know, he had a, a, a 45 caliber cell phone. <laughs> you know, it's like, come on now.
I think I'll be spoken. And cause I look like me, the white kids copy quoted. So I feed them raw bars, but I turn the high coated in some shit that all be spoken. Truth glaze, if you will. Like why we loving the culture, but not the bodies though. We co-sign the oppression, purchase the trauma, yo. Same country yelling, raise the roof, raise Dylan Roof. Shit, we murdered King and gave that kid murder King. So I ain't come here to blow up quick. A couple homies that I've grown up with. And he spurred the moment, the boys will pop like there's coaching Kawhi. And you can see it in their eyes, I ain't changing their minds. Like, who am I to? I'm just crafty, you know what I mean? I used to have yeah, basketball. I love the play of words, right? I'm crafty. And I, at one point, I heard this cast say Craftalonius. And I was like, ooh, that's old school, bro. That's, that's why it's back in my day when you used to freestyle in the alley or, you know, we're, I'm from Chicago, right? Now, we would be in the gangway. That's a small area that's between two buildings. And, you know, somebody might be drinking a little something. Somebody might be eating something. We're just trying to get out of the house, right? We're in these streets. Somebody might be smoking or rolling something. And, you know, somebody's in the back kicking a freestyle. And that was the type of rhyme, right? It didn't have to, um, it had to make sense. But, you know, being lyrical is I should be able to throw you a word, right? And you you play off that word. So, man, it's just, it's just awesome to be able to see that level of wordplay. Uh, for someone young that's bringing that to the new generation sick with it dreams now flip these bars like i got some money for my basketball team would you buy some candy before the train stops and i gotta go i'm super efficient <laughs> i wonder where this cat's from because that is a straight inner city reference he said uh after he said i'm crafty he said uh know what i mean he said i used to have basketball dreams now i flip these bars like i got some money for my basketball team uh, would you buy some candy before the train stops and I got to go, right? If you're from the inner city, uh, you get all these kids that uh, they have the box of candy. And yeah, there are some very legitimate teams, right? And they try to do fundraisers. But a lot of times you got someone in the hood that's savvy. And what they do is they either jack them or they buy a bunch of stuff on bulk and they're oh, selling overpriced candy bars. These are you know, $2, $3 or a dollar. They got them from some big bulk rate if they paid for them. Um, but there is no basketball team, right? It's for your pockets. It's just like selling bottled water or peanuts or whatever that might be. But the play is get a few little kids. They got their basketball jerseys or they got the orange vest. That means it's official. And they're like, yo, my basketball team. I'm always like, oh, what's the name of your team? What's the position you play? How many games you guys win last year? Where do you practice? And they're like, uh... I'm like, come on, let's be real. I'll give you five bucks right now if you tell me it's all bullshit. And they're like, ah, yeah, bro, it's five bucks. And they're like, all right, thank you, bro. <laughs> come on now. Who am I to? I'm just crafty, you know what I mean? I used to have basketball dreams. Now I flip these bars like I got some money for my basketball team. Would you buy some candy before the train stops and I got to go? I'm super official and everyone's about to know. They super official too, only without the O. With the word I excel, my points are... They're super official too, only without the O. Super official, oh, superficial. I was thinking of, okay, maybe I'll take the O off too, right? And then it would be like super official, super official to who? Uh, but no, he's saying they're not super official, they're superficial, uh, meaning they value all the wrong things, right? They, they value material things, ooh. That's just nice. It almost went over my head. I'm glad I kind of stopped and and, and and thought about that a little. Basketball dreams. Now I flip these bars like I got some money for my basketball team. Would you buy some candy before the train stops and I got to go? I'm super official and everyone's about to know. They super official too, only without the O. With the word I excel, my points are powerful. Air shit, micro, soft, homie, they fallible. Absolute value of my verses iconic. Dudes get cast off. You might have bars, but it's last call. Ah. Bro, the bar is there. The intelligent wordplay. This man is talking about Microsoft Office. Right? Did you guys catch that? And when he said, I'm super official too. And he said something like, you're super official uh, too, but only without the O, right? You're superficial. That's just nasty. But he said, with the word, I excel, right? Microsoft Word. It's to create documents. You know, if you're in school or in the work world, uh, that's how you put together a Word document. Um, but Excel, that's where, uh, that's bars, right? Bars and graphs. Uh, well, normally graphs, it's, it's just you're, you're itemizing something, you're using it to calculate something, uh, to reference something that you might need to, to manipulate that data. 
right? That's a Microsoft Excel uh, program. And then he said, yo, my points are powerful. He's talking about Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, that's what you need, need when you, uh, you're creating a presentation uh, through Microsoft. Uh, and it's like a slideshow or so. Yo, that's just, that's nice with it. And then he still said, he said, my points are powerful. He said airship. And then he said Microsoft. Uh, you know, so you're thinking about an air gun, you think about a, 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 a soft a, a air pistol. Uh, you can think about that as, as certain ways, but I, obviously I'm hearing Microsoft and I'm thinking Microsoft Office, just like Word, PowerPoint, all that. Bro, just nasty with it and said, yo, this is not a short freestyle. And I don't see any phone. I don't see any notebook. It looks like this cat straight got his Denny's and he got his leftovers straight on the table. He brought some for Sway and he's just hitting it, bro. This is sick. Absolute value of my verse is iconic. Dudes get cast off. You might have bars, but it's last call. I'm pointing out all you bitches, the final cat call. You take a swing, but what would you go to bat for? Look, the pet bro. Ah, I hate to keep stopping it, but he's coming with so many bars, right? He's saying the absolute value of my verses are iconic. Dudes get cast off. I wonder if that's a playoff of uh, what is that screencast? Uh, I don't. I don't know. But <clears throat> it's an absolute value, right? The absolute value of something that's a mathematical term. Um, but he said, "Yo, you might have bars, but it's last call. When it's last call at a bar, it means yo, you don't got to go home, but you got to get the fuck out of here, right? They're saying that it's the last call for alcohol. Alcohol." Right? <laughs> Drugs and alcohol have ruined my life. <laughs> uh, but he said, yo, I'm pointing out all you bitches. The final cat call. When you cat call a woman, you're like, <whistles> yeah, what's up, mama? <sniffs> yo, <sniffs> hey, come here, mama. Right? That's a cat call. He said, yo, you're quick to take a swing. Right? Think about dudes at a bar. They're all almighty right and you 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 step on their air force ones or the timberlands and they're quick to swing and he said yo you're quick to swing uh, but what would you go to bat for right what would you stand up for that's more about what defines you as, as a man versus swinging right that's so uh barbaric right it's like oh you're trying to get in a physical altercation that's so yesteryear i'd rather destroy you with these words right Soft, homie, they fallible. Absolute value of my verse is iconic. Dudes get cast off. You might have bars, but it's last call. I'm pointing out all you bitches, the final cat call. Quick to take a swing, but what would you go to bat for? Look, the passion's back in the room. It's all love until there's racket in the master resume. You can't bring down my shot if it was after the noon. I don't have to consume all your fucking captions and zone. You can't bring down my shine if it was afternoon, right? Afternoon. And normally the sun's going down. Bro, oh, I don't even know if a lot of people that are listening to this cat, unless they love super lyrical people, if they're catching these bars, right? I think the average Joe, I hate watching YouTube reactors and they're just like, oh, sick. And I'm looking like, I know that face. You didn't get it, right? You're just like, oh, sick with it. Why? Because you heard him stop and smile a little bit so you know it was a bar. Break it down, right? Share it because we don't all interpret things the same way, right? My interpretation might be very different from someone in another place in the world. So, yo, let's break down these bars. If we're going to break down these bars, uh, don't half-ass it. I don't want to watch you listening to a video and you're just not saying anything to me, right? We got to break down these bars. If you're a fan, man, don't forget to uh, support the station by subscribing. We're going to break these bars down together, and I got a feeling... We're going to be doing a lot of Marlon Crabs. What would you go to bat for? Look, the passion's back in the room. It's all love until there's racket in the master resume. You couldn't bring down my shot if it was after the noon. I don't have to consume all your fucking captions and zooms. I'm from New York. We don't know you. We don't ask or assume. A wrong look and leave you battered and bruised. Well, if you pass, if you lose. So come at me as a disastrous move. I'm on a nationwide tour. All up for raps in my room, motherfucker. I look around like, where's the empathy? All I hear is cockiness. And all I smell is jealousy. 
salty. Need a grain of salt for every single thing they telling me. So I ain't never salty, but I gotta keep it ready, see. And I don't know if I even believe it meant to be. Too many people suffer from the hands of white supremacy. Too much discrepancy. Too many people die for greed of evil men. For me to think that this the plan and I should let it be. Many dudes can't afford their lives. Everyone say they married the game, but divorce rates high. Yo. Look, it's young, sweaty. Yo, that's just so nice with it, right? It's, it's not uncommon. Everybody's like, yo. I got this ring because I'm married to the game, bro. He's like, yeah, you might be married to the game, but statistically, over 50% of marriages end up in divorce. Uh, so he's like, yo, you might be married to the game, but you're 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 a temporary employee, bro. We're not gonna see you soon, right? You just you're riding some wave that's inevitably gonna crash, uh, and you're not so you're not building a solid foundation, right? Me, I got bars. I'm talking about fundamentals, bro. I'm over here using the backboard. Right, I'm on, I'm I'm on a fast break, and I'm not gonna pull up and shoot. I'm doing straight fundamentals, yo. This is YMCA balling. I'm gonna be here for life, baby. Palms couldn't nothing get me calm. Now I'm flexing, self flex to get me bombs. I'm nuclear, and I always stayed away Drop from where the goofies were. Baby. These guys are straight Disney, straight iffy, and now I say straight if uh, straight Disney, right? He said these dudes are just. They're, they're, they're just goofies, right? Goofies from the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, right? M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-C. -E. He said, you're a straight goofy, bro. I said, I don't even fuck with goofies. Sweaty palms couldn't nothing get me calm. Now I'm flexing, self flex to get me bombs. I'm nuclear. And I always stayed away from where the goofies were. These guys are straight Disney, straight iffy. And now I get a lot of love, but I brought the hate with me. I give it to my foes, cause none of them ate with me. This motherfucking grilled chicken cost me 850. I ain't in the mood, little yuppie, don't you play with me. I grew up in the New York, but we don't play that. These motherfuckers came for Shake Shack. Fuck. Ah, yo, and I don't that. know if I even believe it meant to be. Too many people suffer from the hands of white supremacy. Too much discrepancy. Too many people die for greed of evil men. For me to think that this is the plan and I should let it be. Man, these dudes can't afford their lives. Everyone say they married the game, but the divorce rate's high. high. Look, it's young sweaty palms couldn't nothing get me calm. Now I'm flexing, tell flex to get me bombs. I'm nuclear. And I always stayed away from where the goofies were. These guys are straight Disney, straight iffy. And now I get a lot of love, but I brought the hate with me. I give it to my foes, cause none of them ate with me. This yeah. motherfucking grilled chicken cost me 850. I ain't in the mood, little yuppie, don't you play with me. <laughs> Uh, yo, uh, yuppie is uh, it, it's normally thought of as a white person, but it doesn't mean uh, white. It means young urban professional. That's where the yup comes from. Uh, so a yuppie is uh, like a young person. Imagine they graduate college, uh, they get it, they get a good job, and then they move into Chicago. Well, they normally move into areas that are going through a what's called a gentrification process. Right, it's a young hip area. Um, let's say it was an area that was predominantly Mexican before. Well, a lot of times they got incredible stores, incredible restaurants, bars, um, but the, the rents were typically low. So these yuppies come in and then they start improving things and buying up the neighborhood. It's a gentrification process and new, more white people start moving in. That's why people, they write graffiti in Chicago that says, fuck yuppies, right? Because they, they don't like that because the people that were there begin to get displaced. Displaced means... They can't afford to stay in these communities that they grew up in. Well, why? They, well, because the taxes go up, the cost of living goes up, the price of apartments go up because people are willing to pay more to live there. Uh, we've seen it happen in Humble Park. Uh, we, now they call it Humble Heights. Uh, we've seen it happen in the Wicker Park area of Chicago. <clears throat> so there's, there's processes that happen, uh, but that's what a yuppie is. It's a young urban professional but a lot of people don't like what they stand for and how they act and they treat the world around them like um, uh, like they're better than. I grew up in the New York, but we don't play that. These motherfuckers came for Shake Shack. Fuck out of here. Man, I'm like J.R. Ryder meets Mighty Most. Or if 05 Cassidy was woke, I'm the Hell's Kitchen, bro. Nazia Jones with some of... <laughs> 05 Cassidy. Bro, Cassidy's got extreme bar uh, bars, right? Uh, he's just, the wordplay is sick, but yeah. The cat's not woke. He's not intelligent enough to <clears throat> get his message out into the world. You might hear Cassidy and be like, yo, this cat is nice. This cat is sick. Um, but he's better better for like a versus battle than an actual career uh, in hip hop, right? Yo, trying to get the reference. When he talks about J.R. Ryder, I know J.R. Ryder. He's uh, 
person that would freestyle, right? He's a, like a Dominican rapper, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> but what meet, meets Mighty Mo's, um, I, I would imagine he's talking about Mo's staff, right? Uh, but Mighty Mo's, is, <clears throat> there's actually a fighter uh, that went by a similar name. So I wonder if he's saying, like, you know, I'm a combination of this woke, very lyrical freestyle artist and a fighter, but he's also referring to, he's talking about being woke, right? Uh, so I think he's better, you think about woke and good hip hop, you normally think of most deaf, right? Or people like a tribe called Quest, that, uh, some of the, the old greats. Play that. These motherfuckers came for Shake Shack. Fuck out of here. Man, I'm like J.R. Ryder meets Mighty Most. Or if 05 Cassidy was woke, I'm the Hell's Kitchen. Nazir Jones with some of Kwali's pros that's widely spoke of and held in regard by most of whom I would care about their opinion. You verified on Insta. I'm verified and glaring out the stairs. I repent for whatever wrong that I've done with every song I sung. I meant to. Yo, he said, yo, be careful who, well, not even be careful, but uh, who, who co signs for you? Who cosigns you is more important than you being cosigned, right? He said, yo, I'm, I'm with some of the greats, right? I'm held in high regard by the people that matter and the people that I care about. I care about their opinion because I know they're the truth in hip hop. I don't care if Little Nas X doesn't like my flow, right? Because I'm not here for you. I'm not doing this for you. I, I care about the ones that truly matter. He said, you verified on Insta. He said, I'm verified in glaring eyes, right? Talking about looking in people's eyes and then they're like, all right, yeah, this cat is this cat is for real. Not on, not verified on Insta, right? If Jones was some of Kwali's pros that's widely spoke of and held in regard by most of whom I would care about their opinion. You verified on Insta. I'm verified in glaring eyes that stares. I repent for whatever wrong that I've done with every song I sung. I meant to reach the souls of the people I was sent from. And y'all talk a lot of paper, but could never be done to myth. Y'all got the strength to be a working man. I take a janitor with a pension over you and all your worthless bands. Jewelry don't mean shit if your ideas ain't worth a damn. Fam. <laughs> Bro, the way he ended that, he said something about y'all talk a lot of uh, talk a lot about paper, but could never be Dunder Mifflin, right? That's a shout out to the office. He said you don't got the strength to be a working man because uh, what is that? Um, uh, what is that? A, a Bronx Tale, right? Uh, is that Robert De Niro that uh, is the man driving the bus and he's trying to tell Calarginal about the strength of a real man, and he uses a similar reference. He said, yo, I'd rather be a janitor with a pension over you and your worthless bands, right? Your money, the jewelry, that doesn't mean shit if your ideas ain't worth a damn, right? What are you truly saying? Who are you really if you don't even have your independent ideas and, and fresh and creative thought? Uh, yo, man, this brother is nice with it. Uh, this, this cat is sick. And yo, that, that was an incredible freestyle.